I decided to use one of my favorite cardigans as a template for this swimsuit cover instead of using a pattern. I really don't know if I'd know how to use a pattern anyway if I had one. Uh, so I just decided to kind of figure it out on my own. Um, I ended up making the sleeves way too small the first time and eventually realized maybe I should measure. So here I am measuring the sleeves of the cardigan. The sleeves actually ended up still being too small even after I'd measured, so I folded that sleeve in half and just made it a short sleeve. Measure twice and cut once, right? Isn't that the saying? I'm pretty sure that's the saying. Then I just sewed each of the sleeves. Now I'm just laying out the fabric for the body of this swimsuit cover. This to me was the most challenging part, really just figuring out how to make it work and how to fit all of the pieces together. I knew how I wanted it to look in my mind, but putting it together and making it actually work in real life was a whole nother story. I knew I wanted it to have that almost robe type of look to it, so I took the fabric for the body and basically just folded it into thirds and then chopped it up. Had the pieces laid out the way I wanted them, I pinned the first sleeve to the first side. After I put all the pins in, I decided to try it on to see if I liked the placement of the first sleeve, and believe it or not, I didn't even stab myself with a needle one time. I know. Now I'm sewing on the first sleeve. At this point, I'm really wishing that I would have had a pattern because turns out this is much more difficult than I expected. I'm going with the flow, feeling it out, and we'll see how it turns out. Sleep number one, check. Now moving on to the other side, I'm just laying out the pieces for the second sleeve, pinning it together and sewing it. And cue night time. Okay, so I've gotten the side pieces and the sleeves sewn on and this is where it starts to really get tricky because I didn't really cut a neck so it lays really funny and I'm trying to figure out how to make it not lay so funny so here I'm brainstorming and folding and refolding and brainstorming and folding. Thank goodness that Kensington is here to save the day as usual. Okay, I've decided to take a break from the brainstorming and do something easy. So now I'm just preparing the sides for hemming and just pinning both of them and sewing them up. And 
and we're back to brainstorming. I spent probably 10 minutes in front of the mirror just looking at it, holding it different ways, and trying to figure out how to make it lay properly. So next, I'm just going to give it a try. <laughs> I'm not saying it's gonna turn out. I'm saying I'm gonna put in my best effort, see how it goes, and go from there. Around this time, things are not going well. My eyes hurt from staring at this thing so long. I'm exhausted. I'm calling it a night. We'll try again in the morning. Good morning. I am back at it with a fresh set of eyes and really I think that's all I needed. I went along with the same areas that I'd already pinned the night before and just sewed along those same lines. I don't know what the problem was the night before, but it's working out this morning, so I'm not complaining. I'm just trimming off some of that excess fabric from when I sewed along those lines. I overcompensated a lot with the amount of fabric that I thought I needed, so I had a lot to trim. Next, I folded the sleeves and pinned them up so that I could hem them. Now I'm just checking to make sure that both of the sleeves are around the same length. After the sleeves are sewn up, I'm really starting to feel like I'm in the home stretch. So next I am folding up the bottom hem and sewing that up. And this is apparently what I look like when I talk. The last step was just sewing up the bottom hem and there was a lot of excess fabric again this time. So I trimmed that off trimmed off the extra loose threads, and we're finished. And this is the finished product. I love, love, love it, and I can't wait to start on the next one.